It's time to saddle up, cowboy, because today we're going over a four-point saddle. So when you're bending a four-point saddle, there's three main measurements you got to know. The first one, you got to know the obstruction depth and the length. In our scenario, we're using rigid pipe. Our obstruction depth is about an inch and a half. Um, and then the length, there's about 13 and a half inches in between the two pipes, okay? Um, you want to measure from the end of your pipe to the obstruction. So um, the end of your pipe to that first obstruction, that measurement's very important. And then you want to determine your offset angles. And this all depends on how much room you have, where you're going to go. Today, we're just going to use 30s because that is the most simplest method, okay? A uh, quick review on offsets. Make sure you know your multipliers and the shrinkage for each one. That will come into play um, for when you actually start bending. Let's talk about some key measurements here. The first key measurements is you got to know from the end of your pipe, so measure from the end of your, you should already probably have a cup one on there, to the edge of your first pipe and then to the outside edge of our second pipe. So we have 20 and 3 quarters um, and then 33 and a quarter, which is 13 and a half in between them. Our obstruction depth is an inch and a half, so we are going to use um, three inch offsets to give us plenty of clearance, okay? Alright, so we are using 30s. Our offset multiplier is going to be two, okay? And it's a three inch offset. So here's how we're going to run this. Our first pipe is at 20 and three quarters from the end of our uh, pipe. So we're going to measure down our pipe 20 and 3 quarters, okay, and we're going to subtract an inch to give us that clearance, okay. When we bend the pipe, this first measurement is actually going to be at 19 inches because our pipe is going to shrink because uh, you have to account for a quarter inch of shrinkage since we're using um, 30 degree bends, okay. Then our second bend is going, we're going to subtract 6 because we know that 3 times 2 is 6 um, for our multiplier. And um, that's going to put our second measurement at 13 and 3 quarters. So that's going to be our first um, offset. Your bender is going to face um, the four point saddle, and I'm going to bend it up in the air and I'm going to use the notch. Okay. The second one is a little more tricky. Okay. You go to the outside edge of our second pipe, which is 33 and a quarter. Okay. We're going to add an inch of clearance, but we're also going to add three quarters of an inch of shrinkage, okay? And that just gives us that little bit of extra wiggle room. Um, so 33 and a quarter plus one and three quarters equals 35, okay? So our second um, offset will start at 35, and then we're going to add six for our, um, for our multiplier and our distance between our offsets. So our last measurement will be at 41. You're going to turn the bender the opposite way and kind of face the um, face the saddle, and um, and you'll bend both of them like that. The first we're going to weigh out all our measurements. Our first one is at 13 and three quarters. Our second one is at 20 and three quarters. Um, our third one is at 33 no 35 excuse me. And then our last one is going to be at 41. So the main thing on this, the main thing on this is making sure that you get your bender turned the proper way. Um, that's going to be the biggest uh, problem I see with students bending um, four-point saddles. So I like to use the bender up in the air, okay? And I'm going to start with that first mark at 13 and three quarters, and I'm going to use the notch. So I'm going to line it up. Get it on there straight and bend down to that 30. Okay. Um, next, you're going to go to your next mark, which is at 20 and 3 quarters. You're going to use the notch again. Okay. Um, make sure that offset is in line. So I'm going to roll it over here. Make sure you're exactly on that mark. Um, do not grab the pipe up here on the top side because you will take bend out of uh, your first bend if you do that. So try to get it in line, and um, and then you can grab it at this bend right here, and then you can bend it. Now, if this was like three quarter inch pipe, you'd probably have to bend it on the ground. All right, so there's our first one. Now we're going to take the bender, and we're going to face the opposite direction. All right, and we're going to find our next mark which is right there, okay, 
You're going to use the notch again. So I'm going to line it up on the notch. Okay, and you want to look down that pipe and you want to make sure that your, first of all, your mark is on the notch and then you can roll it over. Okay, and you're going to bend the next one. You want to get those offsets in the line because you want them dog leg. So right now it should look something like this. You want it straight. Check it one more time here. All right, and then you're going to bend it again. You're going to bend another 30. Okay, and now we got one left here. You're going to do the same thing. You're going to roll it over. So it should look like this right here. You're going to bend that last one. You want to make sure it's in line with your other three bends. So line it up. Okay. Make sure your mark is on that line. And now you can go ahead and bend that down to a 30. Okay. And that is going to be your four point saddle. Now, just like with any offset, you're probably going to need to check it out. Okay. So you might have to put a little in, take a little out. I can already see that on one of these I need to put a little bit in, but we can go ahead and check it up against the wall. All right, so I can put it up against here and see how it is. And as you can see, it looks like it is definitely gonna clear. Um, so you got plenty of room there and it clears it very nicely. You can see that my bends are right there on that, in front of that pipe. So I got plenty of clearance.